What's going on guys, Louise here, bringing the HM3020 2D mesh in curved surfaces. And today we'll learn how to create a mesh based on the element size and use the maximum deviation parameter. So the Cordo deviation is a meshing algorithm that allows the software to vary the node density in order to better represent a curved surface. So let's jump right to it. In this tutorial, we'll use the cordodiv.hm model. It has, as you can see, four surfaces in which we'll use different meshing techniques so, we can so that we can compare the results of each one. We'll start creating a mesh using only the element size control at first. To do that, go to the 2D Auto Mesh panel set the mesh mode to automatic, set the element size at 15, and mesh type to quads. Then set elements to the surface component, select surface by collector, and pick the component use size. Then create the mesh. Now let's set the maximum deviation parameter to control the element density and bias. In the Edge Deviation sub-panel, set the minimum element size to 1, the maximum element size to 15, and the maximum deviation to 0.5, the maximum angle to 90, so the maximum angle will be ignored, basically. And set the mesh type to quads again, and now pick the deviation control component and click Mesh. As we can see, HyperMesh has created a much softer transition than before. Now if we reduce the maximum angle parameter, we can make the transition on the tighter curves even smoother. So set the maximum angle to 20 now and pick the angle control component and click Mesh. So HyperMesh creates more elements in the small radius curve as we can see right here. For the last one, we'll increase the maximum element size to 30 so that it creates larger elements along the less curved surfaces. The corresponding component is the maximum size control component. So pick this one and click Mesh again. And we can see the difference. So we have larger elements in here. So that was a quick one for today, uh, just to show you how to control the mesh in curved surfaces. If you think this was useful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more tips, and I'll see you in the next one.